Welcome back to another episode of Pig's Ark. The house is still here, miraculously, and uh, for some reason, I'm, I'm, I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm not, not really sure. Looks like sauropods are, are not really over here anymore. I don't know if other people killed them, or if they just despawned, or what the heck happened to them. But I'm not complaining. Either way, there's been a ton of activity on the server since I last logged in. I mean, a ton. Look at all these houses, man. There's, uh, well, I don't, that's, doesn't actually look like a house over there. <laughs> but there's a house over here in this, uh, looks like in this base somebody put, uh, I think that looks like a cross. I think somebody put a cross over there. There's a whole bunch of stuff on the ground. I don't know if that's some kind of mine cart thing. I didn't even know that was part of the game. What the heck? That looks like it might be, I don't even know what that is in the ground over there. Uh, and then, wow, that base is huge. There's another little house over here. Okay, well, there's, there's, oh my. Okay. Uh, since when are the raptors over here? This could be really, really bad. <laughs> Let's, okay, bye, Mr. Raptor. See you later, you jerk. Holy crap, that was insane. I don't think he can get up here, so we should be good. My gosh, I gotta get out of here, though. I need to move over by Rothgar and Joss. So, let's kind of take a look at the map really fast. You see that little spot over there on negative one and a half? Uh, and then, what is that, 0.5? Right above that green backpack, it's it's like just barely discovered. That's actually where I want to go. That is somewhere that seems to be pretty cool, pretty calm, pretty collected. It's right over there by the super dark area. I think that's like spawn point four or something like that. I honestly don't really remember, but I want to be able to fly over there because I need to get a flyer. Now, I'm pretty sure pteranodons are relatively easy to get, but I've yet to actually tame one. And I've kind of been holding off to see what it takes to tame one because well you know i i just kind of want to do it on my own i, I want to figure things out so i'll be taking this house down and i will be moving but i gotta find a pteranodon first which probably means i need to scan one and then after i scan one i'll know exactly if it's a passive tame or what i know what it is in arc but you never really know because this is a brand new game so let's be on the lookout for something uh regardless i probably need to gather some berries and i probably need to gather some meat if i can find something to kill that's going to be super, super helpful. That way I'll have two different points. Now, whose base is this over here? Oh, I can't actually gather it with uh, with my spear out. Hmm, the Lost Tribe. I have no idea who that is. Okay, this is uh, it's coming together nicely. What the heck is this? And we... Okay, this is the Snowman 0269's tribe. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I see, I see, I see. Looks like this uh, leads down. Can I get my torch out? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. That's somebody's actual house. There's no door here. I don't want to take over somebody's actual house. I figured there'd be a door. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> my bad. Okay. Well, I, I feel like this is a relatively safe area. I mean, there's the Dark Tide Cluster base right there. So it should be safe. Oh, here's another house. Ooh, and a Vioma. I need to get this Vioma. That's going to be an easy way to get some meat. Whose place is this? Can it... Tell me. Let's see. Rabbit. Oh, hey, it's Brick Rabbit. Cool. Now, let's get this Fioma. Let's see how many hits it takes to get this guy. Bam. Bam. Die, sucker. Die. Get it. Get it. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're running away. You're running away. You're running away. I wonder why. You're getting poked in the butt, baby. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're, you're attacking me now. That's, that's good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. How many hits is it going to take, my god? Oh my gosh. There we go. Let's get the axe out. Let's, uh, you know what? I think first person is probably going to be better for this. Leather. Got some meat. A little bit more meat. Four meat. Ooh. That might not be enough. Hmm. I wonder. Okay. Well, I'm going to be looking around for a pteranodon. Oh, that's, that's super cool. I'm going to be distracted a lot. I feel like since I haven't been over here <laughs> in a while... Uh, oh, there's another rabbit. That could get me... Oh, <gasps> Pteranodon. Perfect. And somebody conveniently put a nice little bridge over here. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, and somebody... There's more than one base. That is amazing. What's uh, level 16 Pteranodon? That's pretty cool. What the heck is this? Is this a portal? Okay, I don't want to get too close because I don't know what that does. Let me see whose this is. Will it tell me? Master Race. PC Master Race. Okay, cool. Now, this guy, I need to passively... I guess I, my scanner doesn't work unless I don't have anything on my hotbar. Maybe? Uh, how do I scan this guy? Come on. No, 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 no. Go, come back. Come back. Come back to me. <gasps> oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Ah. Well, I think that's the same terrain, Don. 
and I got all my stuff back. <laughs> that was fun. It looks like it's passive, and it also looks like you have to have nothing in your inventory. So how the heck am I supposed to knock this guy out? Probably with some kind of bow and arrow? Probably. So let's go ahead and go into my crafting, or my Ingram points, to see what I, I can actually do. So there's quite a bit of stuff that I can unlock, but I just haven't done yet. Cooking pots, mortar and pestle, stone stuff. I really need to get that done. Let's see, any kind of a settle? A saddle? A settle? What the heck is a settle? <laughs> okay. Anyways, let's, uh, let's ignore that I said that. There's standing torches. That's cool. Wooden benches, wooden ladders, wooden beast gate, clay ceilings, clay windows, stone arrows. Here we go. Here we go. Here's a bow. Requires six skill points. How many? 448. How the heck do I have so many freaking... Holy crap. <laughs> That's insane. Okay, feeding trough. I'm going to need to get one of those. Um, what else? Oh, I'm just going to have to go in and unlearn and learn all this stuff. Let's do some stone arrows. Let's do some sleepy arrows, which looks like it's one tinto berry and one arrow. So that's probably what it's going to take. Okay. And it didn't say anything to me about it taking a particular type of food. I'm assuming it's going to be meat, though, so I'll probably have to get quite a bit of that. But if I have the, uh, the, the stone stuff, that shouldn't be too big of an issue. Right, I should be able to harvest a lot more stuff than just the wooden. Oh my gosh, what about a Pteranodon saddle? Have we seen that at all? Please tell me. Uh, Pterodon, P-T-H, nope. P-R, no, P-R-E, nope. <laughs> How do you even spell this thing? Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look. Oh, uh, where'd he go? What the heck is all this green fog? Oh my gosh, P-T. It's a P-T, there you go. Okay, you're over there, buddy. Let's see what this is. PT. Raptor saddle. Okay, so maybe you don't have to have a saddle. What if what if we just do saddles? Parasaur, Patchy, Fioma, Thorny, Boar, Carbonimus, an Itchy, Raptor, Angler, and a Triceratops. Okay, maybe it doesn't. Which would be really, really cool if we don't have to. Unless it's in... No, no, no. It's not going to be in any of these others. That's fine. Okay, what's it going to take to make some stone arrows? Hmm, let's see here. Well, bow is probably more important first. Okay, we need some wood, fiber, and leather. I got some leather. That's pretty good. What about the stone hatchet? We need rock and more wood. Okay, we need some more rocks too. Which means we probably need to do the pick first. Then we'll be able to get some more rock. Okay, let's get some wood. Let's get some rocks. We've got a long day ahead of us. Got some resources. Okay, so we've made uh, two stone arrows so far and three sleepy arrows. I didn't actually realize that I had some narco berries already, so that's been nice. Who the heck is this? Dragon Master. <laughs> I'm not... Right, I think that might be Dragon. I don't know who that is. Okay, let's, uh, let's go over here and let's go... I think I scared them away. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's go down here to the stone arrows. Let's see. Oh, I've got 57 flint and 38 wood. That is amazing. So I've been getting like 10 to 15 wood per tree with this wooden axe. And the flint, I'm getting like 4 flint per thing. And I just found like a huge stack over here. So that's pretty good. I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and craft up, I don't know. Let's make like 15 of these maybe. Yeah, it's just a, it's a one thing. So that's really not that bad. And then we can probably make what? Five more of these? Wait, what the heck? Oh, no, we can just make five. Why is it allowing me to... Okay, I'm not even going to question it. That's fine. So I've got seven of the Trank arrows. I saw a Pteranodon over there. Okay, this is this is coming together nicely. There's there's a Fioma. I should probably get a little bit more meat. Probably. Was the level 30? Okay, that's level 34. That is way too much. I, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to mess with that guy right now. <laughs> let's, let's go over here and see if that Pteranodon is still over here. Hopefully so. But there's no real telling. Hey, this person's taking uh, taking part of my... Yeah, definitely taking part of my house. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go over here. Ooh, there he is. There he is. Okay. All right, buddy. All right, we see you. Oh, it's a dung beetle. Yes, it's amazing. I love it. Okay, I'm dehydrated. That's good. That's, uh, that's always a good sign. All right, let's, let's not even worry about my house right now. Let's try and find this guy. Okay, let's get some water. Ah, sippy drink. That is amazing. Come here. Come here, stupid. Let's see. I don't want to waste my arrows, but I do have some resources that I can get, so 
And as long as there's nothing too bad over here, I should be okay to be able... Oh, oh, come, 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 here, come here, come here, come here. Did I hit him? Did I hit him? Crap. I missed. <laughs> okay. Okay. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. And let's try it like that. Wow. That is... Uh, they talk about straight as an arrow. That is pretty accurate. Oh, there's another one, too. Okay. Oh, land for me. Land. That's even better. Yes, 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 yes. Hit him. Is he down? He's on. Oh, baby. He's down. That is great. There's an Omniraptor here. I can kill that guy if I need to. Okay. What is this going to take? It takes uh, put food in inventory to tame. Let's go over here. Access inventory. Just press E. There we go. And then we should be able to put this food in here. Right? Yeah. And we guess we could put some... Uh, some mayo berries in here as well. I wonder how long it's going to take this guy to tame up. Okay, here's the dragonfly. And there's an oviraptor. We're good. We're safe. We're, we're okay. There's a titan boa. No, that's a, that's a bad guy. That's an ant. Come here, stupid. Level 14. We should be okay. Come here. I'm not even hitting him. Oh, got him. Got him, got him, got him. Let's, uh, let's get this hatchet out. What is that? Oh, that's one, that's one of those guys. I forget what you're called, but I hate you. Okay, what are you? Level 42. Oh, man, that'd be amazing if I could get that guy. Now, these bugs should give me chitin, I think. Let's see what this uh, what this gives me. Oh, I can just grab it. Cactus juice? Oh, yes. Wait, something is after me? No, that's not. Maybe it's the bug. Level 13 dragonfly? Come here. Ooh, baby. Oh, it's a level 42. I wonder. Is he down? Nope. Definitely not down. Oh, he's down. Holy crap. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> okay. I didn't realize that that would kill him. Oh, that was nine. Oh, okay. All right. All right. We've got this guy over here. We've got that guy over there. That thing just freaked me out just a little bit. Okay, this is level 42. Let's put this in your inventory. See how long it takes. I'm going to put these berries in here just in case. I know they're probably not the best. Again, still learning curve. Still uh, still work in progress. That's okay. What's what's your health? Is 344. Stamina, 480. Oxygen. Uh, who cares about oxygen? Food is 2550. Weight is 385. I don't even know what my weight is. Does it even tell me? I don't even see it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we should be good. Oh, with this guy, if I could tame him up. Ooh, that's going to be good. Now, I need a little bit more mayo berries. And uh, he might require a little bit more meat than that. This guy is... Uh, ooh. Okay. He's uh, he's a little bit... <laughs> he's not doing so good. <laughs> he could be a little bit better. And I need to get some more some more berries for sure. You know, third person's nice. I like it. Uh because you can see a heck of a lot better than you would be able to normally in first person. But it's so hard sometimes, I, or at least I got to get used to it. It just doesn't feel the same. And getting up this voxel world with all these blocks can be a little bit difficult. Slightly in third person. So I kind of like first person for jumping and moving. <laughs> but I generally just like third person overall just because I like to be able to see my character. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to keep gathering up a couple of these mayo berries, and hopefully, we'll see in the next five minutes or so how well this level 42 Pteranodon does. Hopefully, it does pretty good. It really only took one arrow to knock it out, which is incredibly surprising, and I'm also dehydrated. Oh boy. But we got some Norman Argos, so that's good. Well, it looks like these two are actually going at the same rate, and I could probably use a little bit more meat, so I'm sorry, Mr. Mrs. Excuse me, Mrs. Pteranodon. <laughs> You're going to die. So, this uh, bow is incredibly stronger than my stupid little spear. Look at this damage. It's like barely going down. I hit this guy, or this gal, excuse me, once again, one more arrow. She done. She is 100% done. So, I went ahead and actually, oh, can I get some more stero stone arrows? Please, 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 please. Oh, man, I picked one up. That's, eh, okay, that's fine. But I am getting quite a bit of leather and quite a bit of meat from this, which is super good. I'm also getting some cacti. For some cactus juice. Don't know what good that's going to be for, but maybe I can make a cactus farm. That would be cool. Looks like there's a dead tree over there. Oh, these are getting exciting. Okay, let's see here. Um, 
halfway and halfway. So I actually asked around a little bit and it looks like I, I didn't want to shoot this guy with, with an arrow. That's why I asked. So they actually, you can just put narco berries in here and then remote use item, Shazam. Unconscious level is going back up a little bit. So I need to get a little bit more of that stuff. Halfway and halfway, we should be fine. I don't really think, I don't really think the levels are like they used to be in Ark, but I'm not entirely sure. And it looks like it doesn't really matter what the level is, or at least level 16 to 42 is about the same anyways. Maybe it's a slight difference, but not a ton. Oh, this is going so well. I'm so excited about this. And I, it looks like, okay, there's a raptor. Please, uh, let's, let's just hurry up. I'm already dehydrated again. Holy crap, man. There's a carbonimus over there. Okay, the raptor, just stay over there, buddy. Just stay over there. Got some more berries. Come on, give me some more narco berries. Narco, hello, narco, polo, narco, polo, narco, polo. And another one of those guys. Ooh, ooh, I'm gonna have to kill him. This might be a mistake, but this raptor keeps getting dangerously close to me. Okay, well, maybe this arrow kind of sucks. <laughs> ah, okay, he's, he's okay. All right, I was getting a little worried there. Hopefully this guy's almost done, almost unconscious okay come on come on come on you're super super close let's uh let's remote use another one of these i don't know let's wait like five seconds use it again okay we've got a couple more arrows so we're good with that we've got a couple more berries which is more important i can take these away we still got plenty of food on him he should be okay wait this is a male right i think maybe i don't know oh crap it does say saddle uh-oh uh maybe we should take a look at this really fast let's let's open up the crafting thing again i think we're okay ingram metallurgy oh, wow copper stuff oh crap it's right there okay what does it take 25 leather and 20 wood I, th I think i've got enough for that do i have to make it at a special station oh god i hope not what do i need oh i need wood that's all i've got oh i've just got plenty enough or just enough of the other stuff of the weather i don't know why i said other stuff i know what it is ah oh, gosh okay and I'm, I'm also getting hungry where's that raptor i don't know where that raptor is Gotta be careful here. Come on, Mace. Don't die. That would suck. All right, we got a little bit more wood. Let's just go ahead and gather a little bit. Oh, these over there. Okay. All right. All right. Let's get these other trees. Perfect. Now we can actually make the terrain on saddle. This is great. Let's get back over here. Nice little safety net. Grab some more cacti because, you know, why not? Come on. There we go. Cactus. Unconscious. Perfect. Let's go over here to the crafting station. Go back down here to this Dranadon saddle. And then what is this going to take? This takes the feeding trough is rock and wood. We'll go ahead and make one of those because we're going to need one Dranadon saddle. I don't want to put it in its, in its inventory because this is still really, really early in the game. So if something's bugged out, I don't want to lose that because that's going to take a while. Holy crap, you're almost done. Come on, baby. Oh, it's a female. My bad. Whoa. Okay, Mace, uh, you're going to be, let's see, Mace, because we're in a tribe, and you're going to be uh, Flappy. Super original, I know, but that's fine. Flappy the Pteranodon, equip a saddle. Let's put you over here in the saddle slot. Holy crap, we're about to have flight. Oh my god. Left mouse button to attack, right mouse button, or C. If your dino has, oh, it's just like Ark. That is beautiful. And uh, shift to sprint. What is your stamina like? Your stamina is okay. It's all right. And your weight is perfectly fine. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Wow, it's like a whole new world. Okay, could you get off my screen, please? I, I'm really tired of you. I'm, I'm done with you. Oh, we can get over to that other location super, super easy. In space bar to land. That is great. Now, the tricky part. Okay, let's, uh, let's see how well I actually jump off. Oh, that's fine. Okay, what is this? Uh, we need to disable. Set to aggressive? No to neutral so following me follow distance medium to passive let's do passive and then to target set aggression to aggressive no i do not want that we're gonna do follow distance from low no we like low change name no we're good okay i think i think we're okay I, I think so. <laughs> I hope so. And it's nighttime too. I need to cook up a little bit of food and then we can make it over to the, to what I hope to be is our new base. 
Okay, I also need some stuff in here that I can actually cook this food with. Let's use some thatch. That should be okay. Light fire, baby. Oh, this is going to be great. So long, fair home. You've treated me so well. Kind of. Sort of. Well, I haven't really spent much time here, but it is time to move on. So, I wonder if I can take a look on the map. Well, you know what? Let's, let's go ahead and just get really close to the ground really fast. I need to make sure and get some food, too. I am thoroughly impressed with myself for being able to get a level 42 so early on. I mean, I guess it makes sense considering my level's like 27, 28, something like that. Does it say? Nah, it doesn't say. That's fine. Okay, what's... Oh, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to look at the map. Aha, yes, we can. So... I need to go. Oh, you can barely see my arrow, but it is. Can I move with it on the map? There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's get to where we can see a little bit better. Aha, you see the tip right there? Kind of right in the middle of the map. That glowy, shiny thing. I need to go directly north. So that's not going to be too bad, but I definitely need to get some water first because I am, like, dying. Now, I have a strong suspicion that uh, Flappy here won't be able to land in the water. So, I gotta be mindful of that. It's just like these little things, you know, that it just merges together with what Ark was. <laughs> so, that's pretty good. I also probably need to grab a little bit more flint, because this new area, I'm pretty sure, doesn't have much of it. So, the most we can get, or the more we can get, the better off we'll be. So let's go ahead and grab some of this, like so. And then, can we gather this one from up here? We sure can. Beautiful. Now, Flappy, what the heck, dude? Can I... Why are you... Oh, your level. Holy crap, I thought that was your stamina. Ay, 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 ay. This landscape is absolutely gorgeous. It looks like there's a massive desert over there, though. And then we've got... Uh, that that carbon image looks really big. Oh, that's just because it's compared to a dung beetle. That makes sense. There's another Trandon. I'm also super, super worried that I'm going to run into an area that uh, Mr. Flappy's not going to be able to handle like that thing oh that's a terror bird okay oh well i've yet to actually fight one of those but i've i've been okay looks like there's an obelisk over here too and a whole heck of a lot of drops now i could probably start checking some of these out but i haven't learned the colors yet and it looks like i can also see directly through the land <laughs> because it's still loading in that's kind of huh it's unique to say the least is that some lava looks like there's some lava there and okay it's still loading in this isn't as pretty of a fight as i thought it would be because well you know holy crap what the heck are those things my god those are beautiful but also terrifying because i don't know if they're going to come after me and i really hope they don't okay how close are we getting to this place what the heck is that is that an orgy it looks like uh the, the fruit loop parrot <laughs> Oh, unlocked an achievement, baby. What is that thing over there? I don't even want to know. Oh my gosh. This is uh, this is like a whole new world. That should have been the title of this episode, but it definitely wasn't. Okay, there's another Pteranodon. There's some RGs. There's all these portal things. There's a glowy thing down there, which I'm pretty sure is just one of those objective things. I don't know. Let's look, take a look at the map. Oh, I need to go this way. Now, this obelisk looks really cool. Oh, my stamina is super, super low. I need to land, like yesterday. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's look. Can we land on this little edge? Ledge? Please, please, please land, Flappy. Please. Pretty please. For me. Do it for me. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. We got to find some uh, some flat land, like yesterday. Oh, here we go. Here we go. How long is it going to take for your stamina to increase? Ugh. That's a little bit longer than I would hope. I mean, new area. Don't know if anything's bad over here. Please don't get me. Please don't get me. Please. What the heck is that? Huh? Oh, those are kangaroos. Oh, crap. <laughs> I was really scared there for a second. Uh, there's a purple drop. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't mind this at all. That is... Wow, I love these little things. What the... What is, game is lagging. Game is super, super laggy. Wait, hold on. I think we're getting really close to the area I need to be in. It, it, it. Oh, optimization. Please work on optimization game. Please, please. I'm getting really good frame rates. Why are you lagging out? Okay. All right. I think we're good. Now, please tell me that I can level. Oh, that's super annoying. But guess what, guys? We're here. We have made it to the new area that I want to be in. 
Ah, there's Rothgar and Joss's place. Right there. The massive, big, huge thing. <laughs> I guess they're, uh, they're just trying to wall it off. I don't know, but I like it. It's really, really neat. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and gather some supplies. And we'll start working on a house for ourselves. Well, would you look at there? It's a home. It's a beautiful, beautiful wooden home that blends in really, really well with the dirt. <laughs> but we did it. We finally have a house. This is great. I feel like this is so much better of a home than it was uh, the little thatch hut that I had. That thing kind of sucked. But, uh, it, you know, one of these two homes looks, uh, looks bigger than the other. And I can't quite figure out which one it is. I mean, realistically... Yeah, I think theirs is tiny. <laughs> Anyways, that's beside the point. Hey, it's Dragon Master. What's up, man? Did you just take a shit on my yard? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, so I've got a home now, which is really, really good. Uh, I've got the feeding trough down here, so Mr. Flappy will be perfectly fine. Or Mrs. Flappy will be perfectly fine. We've got a nice little room in here with a campfire. Got some storage that we can put the cooked food in. I probably need to look in to see if there's some kind of preserving bin or something like that. There probably is. I need to get that. I also need to go through, since I still haven't done it, and unlock all this stuff. And it looks like it just leveled up too, which is great. Sign on wooden wall. Okay. All right. I see you there. There's a guidepost. When you explore caves, place the post on the ground to show the way back. That's actually super, super handy. I love that. I did go ahead and unlock the bed. The bed was actually really cheap to make. It took 15 leather, 15 wood, and 40 thatch to make. Uh, I still need to go through and unlock all those things like I was saying, but I made a little bedroom in here. So it's a it's a room within a home. It's nice. I like that. Uh, I'm also, oh, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. What the heck was that little icon on my screen? Come on, can I get it to come back? Because that would be great. Aha, yes, right hand side, you see that, the home icon means, I don't actually know what it means, but I have an idea that it means that I'm not going to lose some of the stuff that I normally would lose, um, like my food and my water and things like that. I get a little bit of a protection bonus for being within a home. I don't know what constitutes a home, I would assume it's walls and or ceiling and doors, but I don't know, it's not eco, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. But I do have a bed back here. This thing is amazing. It won't face the other direction. I don't know why. So uh, my head is, is uh, easily accessible for Rothgar to come kill me in the middle of the night. Uh, there's also some personal storage in here. I don't know. This is my home, so I don't know why I'm calling it personal storage, but it's fine. Uh, I am getting the home icon again. Okay, super, super weird. Now, something that the others actually helped me out with right here was this back here is nice little area. Let's get the torch out. To lead between our two bases. Check this out. What the heck is that? Why are there shadows? Uh, okay. <laughs> That's kind of scared me a little bit. Why are there shadows when there's a ceiling? Hmm. I don't think that's some kind of glass. And you can kind of sort of see something on the screen there. Oh, oh, scavenger? I think that's what it said. I don't know. Anyways, I haven't actually explored much of this. This looks cool. Marble floors. Oh, baby. There's a Carno and a T-Rex. My God, that is amazing. I cannot wait to get some of these on my own. This thing looks really cool. I like the way the T-Rex looks. Don't get me wrong. And it's so much bigger than this Carno. But I love these horns on the Carno. Looks amazing. What about your short little arms? Wow, those are short. <laughs> that is insane. Okay. So it looks like they've got some decor items and things like that on the outside of their home. I like that. I like it a lot. Looks like there's some kind of a brick stuff. I think this is storage, maybe. Sundry's chest. I don't know what that is, but that's fine. Uh, and I'm also getting some serious levels here by, uh, <laughs> by being next to these guys, which I'm not going to complain. I mean, that's... There goes another shadow. That's, uh, that's part of being in a, in a tribe, you know? Okay, let's just go ahead and go up here. Aha! Now, there's the good old Argies. They're Scavenger and Shrug. I like that. Those are amazing. What the heck is all this stuff? Oh my gosh, is this... Oh, it's crops. Can I drink from this? Please, can I... Can I drink from this? Drink water. Yes, that is amazing. Oh my gosh, I... Oh, this is gonna take a long time for me to get to this point. Wow. Well, you can see my house from here. And, if I was uh, really careful... 
I could probably make my jump over there. There's another train on top of my base. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, guys, oh, I don't want to die. Well, I do have a bed, so I should be okay. But still, I really don't want to die. Anyways, guys, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and call this the end of the episode. I love this. Uh, I love the fact that our bases are actually connected. I think that's something that's really, really cool. Now, I'm going to have to probably dig further that way and make my own little mine or something like that. But worst case scenario, if something really, really gnarly comes over here before I am ready, I don't think that there's going to be. I mean, they've, they've already started planting some trees and stuff here. I need to get on my own little tree farm. I need to do a whole bunch of stuff. But worst case scenario, if I need to and run away, I can just go into the mountain and I'll be okay. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Mr. Flappy, you are a pleasure to have. I love you so much. Let's do a little dive. Oh, baby. I'll probably go ahead and just, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and park Mr. Flappy over here. Just, just in case. <laughs> just in case things go awry a little bit. Uh, hopefully that's going to be okay. Mr. Flappy, I love you. I'll see you later. <laughs> see you in the next one. Bye-bye.